Ah, breakfast in bed again. You are a treasure, my dear butler. You do so spoil me. Thank you. And what do we have here? A rose butler? Ah, you remembered. Remembered, sir. Our anniversary. Forty years today. I hadn't forgotten. Hop in. Very good, sir. Who would have thought, all those years ago, that that chance encounter would have led to such happiness? How did we meet, Butler? Can you remember? Well, you advertised for a butler, and I... Ah, of course. It was the day I was to have interviewed prospective butlers. <laughs> to think that such mundane domestic matters were distracting me when our eyes first met. And I never did hire a butler, after all. What? Well, I've never needed one. What with all the loving kindnesses you perform for me daily. You really are too good to me, Butler. I hope you know I appreciate it. What do you mean, sir? Ah, sir. Such a simple pet name, yet so affectionate. So, what do you think's going on? Our anniversary, my dear Butler. Forty years since we both cast aside convention for love. Right. Oh, no. So, the thing is... You do know I'm your butler. Yes, my butler, my dear butler. <laughs> now and forever. Butler, buttles, butty pops, butlington boots. No, <laughs> butler's my job. My name's Steve. I don't understand. I'm a butler. I'm your butler. I have been for 40 years. You're my butler, butler. Steve. You're my Steve Butler. Butler, Steve. You're Steve Butler. I'm Steve Griffiths. I'm your butler. Oh. But... I, I thought we were going out. Well, we're not. Oh, right. But... What about the breakfast in bed every day? That, that was so romantic. Yeah. Also, sir, if you think about it, exactly what a servant might do. Like all the cooking, tidying, polishing, shopping, cleaning and answering the phone. I mean, as a butler, I'd say you were relatively easy to work for. But if you thought this was a relationship, you were nowhere near doing your bit. Oh. But if you're my butler, why have I got my arm round you in bed? You told me to, sir. <laughs> now, will that be all? Right. Well, this is awkward. And while we're on the subject of domestic chores, while this breakfast would have been a lovely gesture from a man I thought had been in love with me for 40 years, <laughs> coming from a professional servant, it tastes like shit. <laughs> You're almost as bad as that housemaid. Housemaid? Yeah, you know the one, the stroppy one. Sits next to me in the drawing room without so much as a buy your leave. <laughs> Looks at me with needy, betrayed eyes. Developed a drink problem about 15 years ago. No, sir. 